Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So today I have for you guys like my go-to makeup look. My I only have 10 minutes to get ready makeup look. Usually if I'm not distracted, I can do this makeup look in five minutes, but it is a struggle to get it done. And so I actually have just like a whole lot of videos to record today. So but I didn't want to do like a full on like beat. I just wanted to do like make myself look presentable. So I thought that I would share this with you guys because I'm pretty sure that I have a lot of moms or just a lot of people who are on the go that might want something that's like really fast to do. And so my steps don't change. Like I mentioned in my mom friendly makeup tutorials, you want to prime your face because nine times out of 10, if you're in a rush, you need something that's going to last, but you also need it like, you need something that's gonna last all day and not wear down, but also still be quick. So I have two different options, just in case maybe you're oily or maybe you're more dry. I'm going to use both just because I like the extra step. So if you're more dry, I do recommend like a more hydrating primer. So today I will be going in with my Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm Primer. And if you're a little more dry, maybe you want, I mean, a little more oily and you just need something that's poor filling, but you also like something that's a little bit hydrating, like you really need that two-in-one. Another one that I recommend is the um, Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. There's two that they have and one looks more white. I, the one that's um, a little bit more pink is the one that I like and that I recommend. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just take a little bit of my Touch and Soul Primer and just put, um, take some of that off the lid and then apply that all over my face. I think it's very rare that you guys ever see my hair straight. I've been wearing it straight for like a month because it's just easier to maintain on it straight. It's so much easier to make it look presentable when it's straight. Um, I feel like when I have it curly, I always have it up. Okay, and now just where we have pores, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Revlon primer and I'm gonna take just a tiny bit and put that over my um, problem areas. I feel like the inside of this like always gets like that little hard piece kind of like lotion and it really really bothers me okay so now what I'm going to do is and it's very rare that you guys will see me do this so I don't really spray with um, a primer spray before on my quick days so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Ulta Beauty um, full coverage liquid concealer and this one's in the shade full medium now this one I'm going to use just to cover up a few of those dark spots and problem areas just like this like I said not all over our face just where we're having some breakouts and just a little bit on my forehead just to make it match okay and then I'm gonna take just a dry sponge. This is very rare that you see me do this, but on my days that I'm in a rush, obviously I don't have the time to make sure that my sponge is wet. I just want to sit down and get going. So I'm going to take this dry sponge and start just pushing in that concealer. I don't like this sponge. This sponge is really hard, wet, but it was like my only clean one. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this little green one, even though it's dirty. And this one came in that three pack of sponges from Dollar General. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my eyelids because I have naturally like pigmented eyelids that can make me look sick. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of the excess on my nose just so it's not so red and shiny. I feel like that um, red sponge took off a whole lot of product, like it didn't really blend anything out. I just took it off of my face. Okay, and then one thing I am going to do just to add some brightness to my face is I will go in with a little bit lighter concealer and just hit underneath my eyes with this. And so I took my Catrice concealer in light beige. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of setting powder and put that everywhere that we put um, 
concealer and maybe a little extra just because I like the way that this setting powder makes your skin look. And also the setting powder is not good for flashback. I just learned that the other day I was trying to send a picture to my mom and I was using like the front facing camera with the flash like that the screen will give you and it was not cute. Like it made me look gray. It is early in the morning right now. Like I don't even think it's eight o'clock yet. And if it is, it's like barely eight. <laughs> Getting like, I have like this breakout line right here and I'm not, I don't know if it's really hormone from having King, like they need to get whipped back into shape ASAP. Okay, and so that's just, it makes you look really put together and really pretty, just really fast. Okay, and so usually this is the part where we're going and I'm gonna go ahead and, um, before my brows, all I'm gonna do is set them and just kind of put them in place where I want them with a brow setting gel. So that will help you look like you tried with your brows, but it literally takes the smallest amount of time. So next, um, this is why it can take me five up to 10 minutes because it depends on how my lashes are gonna cooperate with me. Because I do like to apply falsies even like on my really fast days. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just coat my lashes with my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and then I'm gonna apply my Salon Perfect 614s. Okay, so now that um, mascara is on. That's what I love about this mascara, it's like you don't need falsies, but I'm obsessed with falsies right now, so yeah. So like I said, just taking my Salon Perfect 614, and we're gonna pop those on, so. The trick to like lashes is finding a really good pair that you're not gonna have to trim, that has a really easy band to work with. I mean, the band on these Salon Perfect 614s is basically almost non-existent. So I can apply it really close to my lashes and it can be start to become like really, really natural looking and it's not hard to work with. Also allowing your glue a little bit of time to dry so that way it's not slipping and sliding all over the place. That is it for that. So now we'll go ahead and coat our bottom lashes with mascara. Okay, so now that that is done, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to take this bronzer that I got in my Ipsy this month. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face with that. First, I'm gonna go ahead and go in and add a little bit of blush. Okay, and for highlight, I didn't want something that was, I don't like a highlight that's too like va va voom on days where I don't put on like a ton of makeup. So I'm gonna go in with this Sugar Beauty. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go in with the Sugar Beauty highlight in the shade um, <laughs> Champagne Champion. I'm in like brain fart right now. That sneezed through off everything. And so like it's there, it gives you a little something, but like it's not too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my illuminating spray and just spray my face. And then the last step I do is I'll always just take a gloss. It could be any gloss. It could be a pigmented gloss. Just something where you don't have to be too precise, but it still gives some life to your lips. What I have on right now is just Carmex. So I'm going to take my iconic London lip plumping, lip, pump, lip plumping gloss in the shade Nearly Nude. Okay guys, so that is like my current no makeup makeup look, five to 10 minute makeup tutorial, my in a rush makeup. Like I said, if you cut out the lashes, you can easily do this look in five minutes. Or like I said, you can find you a really good pair of lashes that has the thinnest band that's easily to, that's the easiest to work with and allow your glue to dry while you're like maybe putting on your mascara or just bronzing your face. Just allow your glue to dry for about 10 to 15 seconds, maybe 30 and apply them so because whenever you let it dry just a little bit then they're not sloshing all around your eyelids and it's a lot easier to apply so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more 
And if you haven't already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah. Thank you.